them uh, exactly how we work on set. Hey, why don't I take you for a souvlaki, my treat? No, I think I'll wait until I can sink my teeth into something. And Forever Night, looking to make its mark on late night TV. Not really. This week on movie television. <laughs> Vampires have held an eerie fascination for us on various levels. Horrific, romantic, mythical. And thanks to Hollywood, vampire imagery has been kept alive and well throughout the years. This fall, vampire fans can look forward to Francis Ford Coppola's much-hyped Dracula movie. And in the meantime, we can get our fix of fangs via the tube in a new series called Forever Night. It's being produced in Toronto in conjunction with Canada's Paragon Entertainment, and it's aiming to take a bite out of Arsenio Hall's late-night numbers. It's a cross between a guy who's a policeman and a guy who's got a slight problem. He's addicted to um, something that most people aren't, and that's blood. He only works at night because he's allergic to the sunshine, of course, and he works alone because he's got a mood problem, of course, when you, when you get eyes and teeth. I suppose that, that creates uh, difficulties to hang around with different people. So what it is, it's not that weird, actually, because he is a guy who's fighting this problem that he's got, which is, you know, he constantly his teeth grow. Um, and uh, he doesn't have a dentist who will work his hours, so he, you know, has to go around sort of at night roving the streets fighting the bad guys. You never know whether or not he's going to vamp somebody or whether, indeed, he's going to stop someone from doing something. So it's, it's got that kind of edge to it. Hey, are you okay? You look like death warmed over. Yeah, I'm just a bit hungry. Hey, why don't I take you for a souvlaki, my treat? No, I think I'll wait until I can sink my teeth into something. Playing night sidekick is John Kapalos, a veteran of both feature and primetime guest roles. He feels the show's chemistry is on the right track. We do have complementary skills as actors and as people. You know, uh, he's uh, done a lot of uh, Shakespeare and a lot of classical theater. And I've done a lot of, I worked, you know, in Second City in Chicago, and uh, done movies, comedy, and stuff like that. Can't worry now. He doesn't. <laughs> the way uh, the writing was and the one we met, it, it just sort of fell into place. There was one death in this car. The driver, he lay there. Supervising producer Lee Siegel's credits include The Six Million Dollar Man. He was attracted to Forever Night because of its offbeat nature. When I tell you there's a cop who's also a vampire, I expect you to go, yeah, sure, right, fine. Now, to make it credible, believable, make you want to watch it, make you care about the guy, that's the challenge. And camera. Action! See you tomorrow. Bye! Yeah, I did a little time with the search myself. You okay? It shifts. It ebbs and flows every week. Each uh, different story uh, really brings a new sort of approach to the character. And we're not locked into anything yet, which is really nice. So that you have a, a constant flow of new ideas in. And you can challenge the vampire folklore as well as accept it. You need blood to fight, Nicholas. You need blood to live. Take me. Yes, it's a wonderful offer. Take her. Make her one of us. Why do you think Grant is right for the role of Nick Knight? He has a kind of Stratford honed English uh, intellectual classic sound, look, and appearance, actually. It was as though he was born in Stratford, and they raised him. I think he's ideal. A very unconventional leading man for a TV series, as the audience will recognize when they see him. You want to know what I think about psychics? Not really. Certainly this isn't your first series, but the fact that it is for a major U.S. network, do you think about that at all, and how that might change things for you as an actor, change things in terms of your career? 
It's different. I don't know if it's made. Uh, it's a major one in a different way because uh, normally I'm dealing with the theater mostly. It, it's just a different direction. And if it goes anywhere, that's fine. If it doesn't, then of course I'll just say that I didn't care anyway. But no, I mean, obviously I do. And yeah. And it, and if it if it works and if we if we go, continue on and everything, of course it would make a big difference. Where are you going? How do you feel about playing in that kind of late night time slot in the American market? It's good that it's late night. Because the late night mandate uh, seems to be a little uh, looser in terms of the uh, the uh, the things that can be said and the prime time schedule, and also I think that the show has got this the element of uh, of I mean, the vampirical legends sort of strike a sort of chord in everybody, a dangerous chord. There seems to be almost a renewed kind of interest in vampires. After all, Coppola is coming out with his uh, much anticipated film about Dracula. What do you attribute this to? This is sort of a depressing year, this one. Um, so, so anything that can, can, that can maybe throw you back into time or indeed throw you out of real time is maybe not such a bad thing. Well, okay, listen, I think they're wrapping you here. So I, I can only wish you the best of luck. I think we've probably got enough here to do, uh, right. do you some damage. Well, I'm supposed to do this. <laughs>